Hi guys, I'm Benny P and this is my review of the Cadex Baby Rattel. This is a new Starlight camera from Cadex, which I was pretty excited about. It's not only a nano size camera, but it's also a Starlight camera, so it should work extremely well in low light. So this camera comes with the OSD menu remote, uh, a set of screws of various lengths, an Allen key to fit them even, and a little adapter to fit this camera into a micro size frame if that's what you need. So for my build I built this into an Armitan Tadpole, so that was a new build for me. On that frame the lens sits safely behind the camera cage, it doesn't protrude like some cameras with longer lenses would. The cage isn't visible in the DVR but the props are. Unlike larger cameras, this one comes with the connections made by JST connectors uh, fitted on short little jumpers rather than JST connectors directly on the chassis. Uh, there are no plugs with wires attached to mate with that. You have to either supply those plugs yourself or cut them off and direct solder, which is what I ended up doing. I generally prefer to direct solder anyway. I just find it's more reliable. The location of the connector for the uh, menu remote is pretty convenient. Actually, with it being on that little, uh, that little jumper, it means that you can stick it off to one side in a place where you can plug the remote in without actually pulling the frame apart, which is something I really appreciated. So key specs for this camera. Physically, it's a 14 by 14 millimeter uh, camera, and the depth is about 19 millimeters, which I found was just a, a smidge deeper than uh, the other camera that I had set aside for this build, which was the Runcam uh, Nano. Uh, it could be a problem on some builds, but on the Tadpole it was just fine. The camera weighs only 4.6 grams, so it's not going to contribute much to your, uh, your all-up weight. Voltage-wise, it accepts between 3.3 and 5 volts only. There's no built-in regulator like you'd have with larger cameras. That's pretty standard for a nano camera, I think. The lens is a 1.8mm lens, the same as the Tarsia version 2. Gives you a 160-degree field of view. The camera is switchable between Aspect ratio is a 4 to 3 and 16 by 9. The sensor itself though is a native 4 to 3 sensor. So if you select 16 by 9, it's going to clip off the top and bottom of the image. If you're going for maximum field of view, then leave it in 4 to 3 mode, even if you've got 16 by 9 goggles. My current camera that I use on my 5 inch quads is the Runcam Eagle 2 Pro. Very similar feature set. So during the day, you can see the performance is pretty damn good. I'm used to some pretty good wide dynamic range performance from the Eagle 2 Pro, but the Baby Rattel certainly did impress me. If you look at the clouds, you can see this is an overcast day and the sun's behind the clouds uh, quite frequently, but this doesn't upset the camera at all. At no point is the sky blown out. You can see clear detail in the, in the bright clouds, even with the sun behind. But then at any point where I'm ducking under a tree or going around the side of a bush or something and the light level drops right down, everything, every detail is still perfectly visible. And unlike a lot of run cams, I, I didn't notice any change in the exposure lagging behind the actual change in light level in the environment. There was no noticeable shift at all. So it didn't matter whether you were pointing straight into the sun or straight down into a dark shadow. The exposure was always perfect which is great. The image was sharp and focused right out of the box. I didn't have to adjust anything. Here I've just given you a quick panorama from the street that I've taken with the camera on my phone. Now it's a decent phone camera, so uh, the light level is pretty good for a phone camera, but as you can see, it's really dark outside. I waited for the sun to go fully down, and as you can see, the video is a little bit noisy. Noise certainly noisier than I expected. Now I've never actually flown at night before. So this is my first experience, but I found it to be pretty comfortable despite the noise. The noise is a compromise that we have to make to get such a small sensor into a tiny camera like this. If you, have, if you can fit a larger sensor, you'll get a clearer picture with less, uh, less noise. But this is the price we must pay to get such a compact camera, and I don't think it detracts from the flight experience at all. I found this to be extremely flyable and extremely comfortable. I could see just as well through this camera as I could see in the street with my own eyes. So to me, if you were walking down the street and you could comfortably walk down the street without tripping over the gutter, then you could comfortably fly that same area with this camera. It's no worse than your own eyes. 
which is a pretty impressive feat for something this small. I thought this test would be a very difficult one for any camera really with the, the huge variation in light levels we go down either end of the street and then coming across in front of the house with the Christmas lights on where it's extremely bright. So just as we saw with the day performance, there's no change in exposure noticeable. There's no sudden flash like you've got with the run cams. The exposure is just always perfect for the light level that's available and that really impressed me. So in summary, this camera is one that I would highly recommend for both day and night use and it's certainly something that I would consider for any future build that requires a nano size camera or even a micro camera. The fact that you get that convenient little adapter in the box that'll let you use it in either the nano frame or a micro frame makes it something, you know, just that little bit more flexible and it's really nice that they've included that. So normally when I choose components for a quad, I'm choosing things very carefully and once I find something that works well for me, I stick to it and it takes a lot to make me change away to a different bit of gear. In this case, I don't even need to think too hard about it. This camera, even in the smaller form factor with the smaller sensor, far outperforms the run cam Eagle 2 Pro that I'm currently using. So I have no hesitation in recommending it. You can find this camera available on the CADEX website directly. Depending on what country you're in, you might prefer to go to a local seller such as Buzz Hobbies. Uh, that's where I got my camera from and this one goes for about 48 bucks Australian. If you happen to be in Perth in Western Australia, then check out Rotor Kings on Facebook. That's all for now. I'll see you next time.